thanks everyone for tuning in uh, again. Um, I'll post a video again tomorrow of all the stuff that I, like I said, that I have planned for the next few weeks, and I'll leave it up for a little bit. So uh, that was a really long sh uh, shrine quest, so I'm going to go over here and do a couple shorter, shorter shrines. The one thing about buying games on Steam that kind of bothers me or I get uneasy about is that um, more or less... I just never get around to them because I'm always playing my, my Nintendo systems. And I have a lot of games for Nintendo. I, I want to finish Golf Store. I want to finish Mario and Rabbids. And I want to finish uh, the DLC for Breath of the Wild. I want to finish Mario Odyssey. And I, There's just too much stuff to play. So, um, so. Anyway, we are going to head north because I want to get to the Hebra Tower. So that's my next thing. Alright. Yeah, I don't know Will at all. Like, I know who some of you guys are. But, uh, I do not know Will at all. I think he just found me one day. So... I don't know either of the Wills that, that watch a lot, so... What's up, man? Go ahead and ask. <laughs> Too many biology notes. I probably have never told the story before, maybe I have in class, but when I was um, in college, I had a very, very... Yeah, two wills, and I don't know either of them. Um, I had a biology teacher who was probably in her 80s, and she literally just used a PowerPoint and a like overhead projector and just shined notes up on the front of the board. This was like a 150 person lecture hall and just read the notes to us. And so I assumed that that's all that was going to be on the test. And so I just didn't go to class, read her, like basically she wrote her own book and it was just a bunch of notes and I got an A without going to class other than for the test because she didn't take attendance. She also um, used um, a microphone in class, which is really weird <clears throat> because almost no one in college does, uh, professor-wise. Like, I had a professor for psychology that had 400 people in the class, and he did not use a, a microphone, so. There are good... Uh, I, I had a very good biology teacher in high school for both regular biology and AP, um, but my both my biology t teachers in college were not good, so There are good things about having like teachers that don't care in college about like attendance But there are also very bad things because like if you ha have like biology wasn't my major I was just taking it as part of a other requirement and if you need uh, if that's your major and you have like a bunch of crappy teachers for your major classes when you get higher up in your major, you're not going to know anything. And so that's the the worst. Um, I had a really bad graphic design professor. Um, for final exam, we had to make a pop-up children's book. Just like two, two pages, basically. A pop-up like 3D book that you would open just to show that we could do it. And then we had to make a front page of a newspaper. And he gave me... It was out of 200 points, the whole project, 100 for each one. He gave me a 0 or a 10 out of 100 on my pop-up book, and he gave me a 200 out of 100 on the newspaper page. So that, like, basically I, I didn't learn what I was supposed to learn for half of the class and learned way more than I should have for the other half. So my hand-drawn elements are very bad, and my computer-drawn elements are very good. Um, so it's just stuff like that. Like, I really wish I would have had a better graphic design professor. And so then when I took junior level graphic design, um, I had a awesome editor, um, who's won awards. That's, she's one of the best editors, I think, in the whole U.S. as far as, like, teaching wise. And she really taught me a lot. Um, and so I'm glad I had her, but...
So, yeah, you definitely don't want your all of your college professors to be boring. Maybe one or two in areas you don't care about. So, like if you're going to be a, a history professor, you don't need a good, you know, or a history major. You don't need a good um, math teacher in college. You just need to get through it. But if you're going to be a math major, you definitely want to have a good math professor, if that makes any sense. So, all right. I know it's going to get cold soon, so i got to put that on. Why am I still wearing my heat-resistant stuff? I should be wearing that and that. All right. Yeah, college professors do stuff like that, too, believe it or not. Um... I had a news writing professor that if you misspelled any word at all, you just got a 50 on it. And if you misspelled a name, you just got a zero. No questions asked. Right, I'm going to save here. All right. And I know the shrine is in here, and I'm going to get destroyed. So underneath all of this, in this long tunnel, there's a forgotten temple. And that's basically where I'm where I'm headed. So um but there are tons and tons of guardians in there, and um it sucks. I'm probably gonna die. I probably shouldn't be doing this until I have more hearts. Or better, uh, or till I have better, um, better armor. But, you know, let's just go. I think the entrance is down here. I do have the Master Sword, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I know a lot, I do know a lot about, uh, Breath of the Wild. There is the other Will that watches, um,. I don't know, just Will you? That's his uh, his thing, his screen name or whatever. He has played like 500-something hours of this game, and I've only played like 300 or 250 or something, so he knows much more than I do about this game. Here's my... I'm just going to... Let's just go in here and just do this. Um... Yeah, I thought I mysteriously changed my, my bow and arrow. Here we go. I thought, is there something that I have to do? I thought that this was just open. Huh. Is it, oh, it's down here. Well, that was a waste of a bomb arrow. Well, there's a broken guardian right there. So. <clears throat> That's many, many hours. Um, I've never played a game for that many hours. That's almost 100 days. That's a lot of hours. <clears throat> but I could see someone spending that much time on The Witcher or on Fallout as well. Um, if you want to really find everything. So I'm going to switch over to the Master Sword. Here we go. Yeah, uh, people, like, just place... See, you can already see, like, look at all these guardians. I'm going to get so wrecked. Um, <laughs> um, I know people that played Skyrim... When it came out on PC, and then they have it on PS4, and now they got it for Switch, and they're going to play through it again on Switch. And I, I don't get that, but, you know, people love it. So. Oh, that was not good. All right, let me save again. And then maybe I'll just make a run for it and die. 
Is that like the ultimate rage quitting when you kill someone after you lose a game of Gwent? <laughs> Here I go! Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, oh dear God. All right. Get up, get up. Ooh. And in here. So you can see the, uh, the shrine down there, but it's well guarded. I can get shot twice more without dying. So... All right, all right. Um, all right, well, I learned something today. I learned that um, don't fight those guys. You can actually make it through without fighting because the first time I literally killed every single one of those. So. <clears throat> yeah, Skyrim, um, you know, it's been out for a very long time. It sold 100,000 physical copies last week. Or not last week, the first week it was out in December. So, and that's, you know, a lot of people are just going to download it onto their Switches, you know, or, you know, the SD card or whatever. Um, so, you know, 100,000 is a lot, I think, for, especially on a Switch, you know, there's only 2.9 million that have been released in America and 3% just went and bought it at the store. They don't need, uh, Nintendo does not keep track of their... They don't release their game sales data for downloaded games. So when you see their sales on or their sales numbers, most of that is just physical copies, like the cartridges. So, um, yeah, but people, you know, you imagine if you had a flight across the country, you could just play Skyrim for four hours on your flight and just take your Switch. So, um, yeah, for a six-year-old game, that really is great. Um, there's rumors that um, there's going to be a Resident Evil 4 port for Switch as well. And even though I've beaten that game a million times, I will buy that game and play it again on Switch because I just think it'd be awesome. 